Hello, everyone. Welcome to Development Palettes. I'm Aaron Loomis coming to you from the Drew Estate Studio. With me today is June Lou, Seth Geist, John McTavish. How are you guys doing this evening? Doing well, man. Doing well here also. Thank you for asking. <laughs> go Jets. And no. Oh, man, why'd you have to go? Speaking that? of the Jets, we're talking about the 601 La Bamba Warhead 6. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Cigar is a uh, Figurado yes. 5x58. Uh, comes out of the San Latano factory in Nicaragua. Uh, wrapper is Nicaraguan Broadleaf. Keep that quiet. Nobody wants you to know it's Nicaraguan Broadleaf. Binder and filter both from Nicaragua, uh, blended by Hector Alfonso. Price point is $10, and the cigar was released in July of 2020. So with all that out of the way, June, what was your overall experience like with the cigar? Um, I had a great experience. I did not want to review this cigar, to be completely honest. Uh, I hate strong cigars for the most part. But, um, so, you know, going into something like this, ate a huge meal, big steak, mashed potatoes, and uh, a big meal, right? So, right afterwards, split this up, and, um, like, once you, what do you call it, the nipple part or whatever? Yeah. Like, once you kind of get to that, past that nipple part, um, you know, you, uh, I, I almost immediately started feeling the strength uh, when it kind of got to like the, the major ring gauge of the cigar. Um, super full, uh, super full body, super strong strength. Um, like in terms of flavors, it was actually really good. It was, I got a ton of this like chalky co uh, cocoa um, and uh, oak and the subtle sweetness. It's, it's almost like, you have something that's like really fudgy and chocolatey, uh, but it's also like this underlying sweetness to it. Uh, and it paired with that chocolate and oak note really well. Uh, it was consistently those notes, which I was totally fine with. Um, but man, it was super fucking strong. Like I, it was like 70 degrees and I think I was in the first third and I started sweating. Um, and like, just, I was like, man, I was like, yeah, I got, I got fucking fat, way fatter in COVID, but like, this is just ridiculous. It's 70 degrees. I'm fucking sweating my ass off and there's a breeze, right? There's a nice breeze as well. But, um, after smoking a cigar, like I was spitting, like I went inside a house and, uh, ate an ice cream sandwich and I felt immediately better. So, um, good job, Hector. Thanks, you dickhead for torturing me. <laughs> All right, Seth, what was your experience like? <laughs> Dude, I'm just picturing June's fat ass sweating and eating an ice cream sandwich. And, and then, like, me Dude, looking at him and being like, you like, are a fat ass. God. <laughs> Listen, I, well, first of all, this was really a, a beautiful little petite Salomon. So this was really constructed well. Um, first, thir you know, the first third of the cigar really opened up lots of flavors um you know rich earth i was getting some stone fruit notes um coffee you know espresso leather um and then just medium full and strength and body but as the cigar progressed that strength and body level just keep keep rising um the flavors come down a little bit i think with with the strength going up but it never loses too many flavors um but you, I mean, you're losing some of the finesse, but it's, it's dark, rich flavors to the end. And it's just strength that just knocks it down in the end, in my opinion. Hey, John, what were your thoughts? I mean, you all know that I really enjoy full bodied cigars, but, uh, you know, June is not kidding around this, this, this cigar is no it's really joke. Strong. It's, it's really strong. It's really strong. I mean, strong. I, I got about, I got about halfway through the first third and I was messaging Hector, cursing him out saying, why, why you just, why do you hate me? Why are you punishing me like this? Uh, I also had ice cream after smoking the cigar. <laughs> uh, I, I went and got, I, had a, I, have a, I have a Dairy Queen ice cream cake in the freezer, and I, uh, no joke, I cut up a piece of ice cream cake because I was like, man, if I'm going to smoke another cigar today, I'm going to need some serious sugar to get through this. It helps yeah. a ton, right? So, it automatically, immediately yeah. it was like, yeah. I might even yes. her do some yoga. So just, you know, a word of warning to anyone out there. Uh, I smoke full-bodied cigars on the regular, and this cigar is absolutely no joke. But Seth's right. I mean, it's got a lot of really nice, dark, toasted character to it, coffee, earth, molasses. And I think that broadleaf, uh, the, the, the broad guan, it really has this rich sweetness through it that you don't get from Connecticut broadleaf. And I can't even, I can't even really describe it, but like, 
Connecticut Broadleaf is like a sweet leather, and this was more of just a just a really nice sweetness that seemed to cut through some of those darker notes. And I found it very surprising because typically you wouldn't get that. Like that's that flavor would get really buried under those darker uh, notes. And then in the second third, it was quite prominent, and I was very surprised that it was battling it out with the earth because uh, again, normally earth would just run over a sweet character like that. So. It was nice, and it was pleasant. Um, it was strong as a mofo. Uh, Hector, I don't know why you hate us, but uh, thank you, I guess. Um, I had a weird issue I just want to talk about for a second with the draw, because everyone knows I use a V-cut. I've been using V-cut forever. I love V-cut. And it was like pretty much plugged level draw when I initially lit it up, and it was like every... I'd say quarter inch of the cigar progressed. The draw opened up more and more. Yeah. So... Yeah, so I just want to say that because people out there, if they start, if they if they let, they cut it and they're like, oh man, this thing. By the time I got just past the shoulder, the draw was like near perfect. So yeah, it, I it, yeah yeah I Go told ahead. you when I was uh, when I was burning through that nipple, like I literally felt like I was sucking really tight on a little nipple, you know. Yeah, it was like it was it was the full on uh, McDonald's I, milkshake. I, really thought I was going in a different direction there, but. <laughs> he was much much more PG than I thought. <laughs> his cheeks were his cheeks were getting red. His jaw yeah, was getting sore. As soon as it kind of the, the burn light kind of went to the main part of it, like it was, it just drastically like opened up. Right. Yeah. So overall, my experience was good. Aaron, walk us through your experience. I feel like I got left out because um, I did get the strength, but I did not get the amazing flavors that you guys are all uh, describing. So um, it was, you know, very average flavor experience for me, very focused around wood, earth, black pepper. I didn't get any of the cocoa or the chocolate other than on the pre-light uh, aromas from the, the wrapper. I didn't get any chocolate in the actual flavor profile. Um, you know, strength, definitely a driver for this cigar, not really imbalanced with the flavor profile that I experienced. Um, if you're a strength hound, this is definitely a cigar that sh you should be searching out for because um, it's really going to, you know, it's going to, you know, mess you up if that's what you like is your kind of S&M type whatever thing you go through. But, um, nope, first no judgment. No judgment. Hey, pound. Pound. It's fun. All right. I mean, yeah. sorry. No judgment. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, for me, this was not the shining light in the Warhead series. Um, I don't – I mean, I might go back to it to see if I can get those flavors that you guys were getting. But, um, yeah, this, the strength is definitely um, – you know, the balance wasn't there for me. I, I'd be okay with dealing with the strength if there was an um, abundance of flavor for that, for that, but it just wasn't there for me. Boy, howdy. Eat a big steak if you're going back to that one. Yeah. All right. How, let's many, get how many Warheads have, have you – how many of the – Warheads have you smoked? Aaron? I think I've smoked three other three other ones. Wow. So I would have smoked four out of the six. They were all like heavy, like broadleaf type wrappers, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. None of them are this strong. No. I mean, you can't get that much strength out of the. I think they had a Lancero at one point, right? So. No. I think so. Yeah. All right. Getting the scores start at the top with Seth at 7.17. Uh, June was next at 6.82. John gave it a 6.47. I gave it a 5.05. .05, so. So I thought that 7.17 matchup for you. It's higher than higher than I thought it would would be. Um, but I think if you're looking for a really full body, full strength flavor profile as well, then I think the score lines up for that. And this is definitely going to be something that you're calling for. So, and that's since your scoring system is perfect. Yeah. Because um, I think the guys who like those would would give it a 7.17. Um, it's not something I'd come back to that often um but i did i did like that john did you call it what did you call it uh broad 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 guan yeah. broad guan broad guan did you just make that up on the spot yeah i loved it man it, i mean it sounded <laughs> like a racial slur because you're like it's, i mean it's that nicaraguan bro <laughs> it's nicaraguan really like broad guan <clears throat> broad guan i'm like oh shit he called him broad guan so broad guan. it's it's a good offer so i'd smoke again um afternoon evening with June. Hey, June, 6.82. As long as you have ice cream cake afterwards. Yeah. 6.82, June. Um, it's a great score, but, you know, I, I'm probably not going to smoke my other ones. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I'm, I know this sounds weird, but, like, I just – if if I could change – if I could still have that same flavor profile without that string, I would love it even more. And I really do enjoy this cigar. So, but, um, like, kind of what Seth was saying, like, if you're looking for something that's this strong and this 
you know, uh, rustic in flavors and and just kind of well composed in that sense and that and that boldness and aggressiveness. Um, I think it's gonna be really hard to be something like this. Um, and and I'm, I'm not just talking about this year. I'm talking about in general within the style of cigars. Uh, and also, I'm actually looking forward to uh, when the protocol guys release their uh, Nika Broadleaf. Um, you know, I'm very curious what that will be like given, you know, how it all comes out of Espinosa. So if it's anywhere near this without the strength, then uh, it's going to be really high for me. All right, John, 6.47. So let me just say, June, if you don't want to smoke that other one, you can send it to me. I'll, I'll take the punishment <laughs> Absolutely. for you. Absolutely. Um, it's, it's a little low, actually. I kind of expected it to be a little higher, but when I look at the, you know, I had to give it a knock for the burn because there's a relight and the draw wasn't perfect. So that kind of explains why it wasn't up in the six sixes, six sevens. Um, I would say flavor wise for me, this, this definitely rates in the mid to high sixes. Uh, you know, it was enjoyable, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I think honestly, if you could, if you could knock the strength level down one or two notches, uh, it might be a little more enjoyable for me as well. Aaron? Yeah, my 5.05 matches up well, uh, slightly below average flavor profile, um, pr pretty good construction, I guess. I had a relight as well, and, and mine, was, mine was in the first third, um, you know, some strong, thick tobaccos in this. I don't, I don't blame it one bit for going out one time, but uh, yeah, I just, like I said, uh, I'm, I'm the outlier on this one. You know, you guys had much better flavor experience than I did, so, um, but it's okay. Um, three out of four is not bad. Uh, any other final thoughts from you guys on this one? Let's smoke this. Let's smoke back to back Warhead and Meridian. No, uh, Mistress. Mistress. Oh, Mistress. Mistress. Which one? Which one? Which one's stronger, Mistress or this one? Oh, Warhead. See, I think really? Mistress sure. is. I think. Oh. I think. Oh. I think Mistress is mostly because I think actually the the broadleaf softens this a little bit. Okay. I think. I think with that more natural, spicier wrapper, it doesn't. That, but I know it. I think. No. Sorry, right, now I guess <clears throat> just to make sure we're talking about the same thing, are we talking about flavor intensity or are we talking hey, about nicotine strength? There you strength? go, man. Strength. There nicotine. we go. Nicotine. Because because flavor intensity, I think the mistress had more flavor intensity, but nicotine strength, this La Bumba Warhead six just like knocks it around. I mean, knocks yeah, it around was, pretty aggressive. I think, I think the complete opposite of you, actually, John. Mm. Hmm. I and I left is, out of the mistress. Yeah, June has not smoked the mistress, so June, you should bring that over on Sunday. Yeah, you got to yeah, smoke the mistress, no, boys. Make sure to have some ice cream cake. <laughs> that was like three years ago. Yeah, that was yeah, three no, years I, ago. I you purposely, still didn't, haven't, you I, still I purposely didn't want to review that cigar because of how strong it was, and Hector was like, oh, it's really strong. You would hate it. It's, 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 yeah, it's pretty strong. And then when we were at it's not quite Lizona Palooza, yeah. and yeah. we saw that dude throw up, from the speed smoking competition, he threw up because he drank too much water. He didn't throw up because of the cigar. Really? Yeah. Oh. Well, anyways, it wasn't exactly pleasant to see a grown ass fat man throw up. <laughs> you know. So. Hey. so that's what you do for entertainment, man. Bring some ice cream sandwiches. Let us know how your mistress goes. That's right. There you go. All right. If you're just catching this video on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to us. We'll also check out the full written review on the website developmentpass.com. Follow us on all the social media channels. You can catch all of our review recaps on podcasts. So iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean. Thank you for tuning in. We will catch you on the next one.